going on YouTube? Jordan here, aka Cheat Buddy. It is currently 1.30 a.m. and I don't really know what I'm doing making a video this late, but it is what it is. I was supposed to release like a bunch yesterday, but um, there was still some stuff that I was researching and trying to learn before I made the video because I didn't want to make the video and then there's like misinformation in there and there was like certain things that I knew about but I didn't know how they like work internally but um, I finally figured it out so yeah let me just make sure this is recording real quick okay everything is good um, so we're gonna get into it in this video um, this is a game hacking video obviously we're gonna be talking about um, multi-level pointers the data structures and uh, any of lists. Um, I'm also going to be explaining the basics of classes in C++ as well as virtual tables aka um, virtual function tables and uh, I'm going to be explaining the this keyword uh, you know and a bunch of other good stuff uh, it's a lot that I want to cover and um, I'm probably going to do it in a series of videos and put them in a playlist so this is part one of the video and um, I highly recommend highly recommend if you're uh, you don't really have to do it because um, I'm gonna try to make this video as easy as possible but eventually you're gonna need to learn some basic C++ knowledge and this uh, tutorial kind of requires that excuse me like if you don't know how pointers work etc you're gonna kind of need to uh, watch his videos or this is his YouTube channel. Um, you can just go on this playlist. What is going on, guys? C++ videos. And um, yeah, that's basically what I started with. I'll probably put a link. I'll probably put a link in the description for like the playlist. So, uh, yeah, guys. So, first things first. Uh, before we even dive into, you know, any of the good stuff, we're going to get technical. Um, if you want to skip the technicalities, I might put some timestamps in the video uh, description, but you know, we'll see. But uh, I just want to go ahead and explain um, something real quick. So, right now I got Roblox Studio open. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on play and just, we're going to just go ahead and look at our local player and I'm just going to be talking about some things um, about the local player and then kind of correlating it to classes and virtual function tables and whatnot okay so here's our player that's me loaded in game um, now what what is an entity list let's, let's talk about that first what is an entity list well and uh, um, according to I guess dictionary.com or Merriam-Webster whatever website Google is referencing for this here uh, an entity is a thing with distinct and independent existence okay like a creature an individual all right so you could uh, consider our character and you know an entity it's, it's an entity could you could imagine that as another way of saying your character or your player um, in this case the local player right so um, in in C in C plus plus there's these things called classes right and let me go ahead and open up another notepad here okay so in this game we could imagine um, a, a class is basically um, let's see how could I put this I probably should have uh, found a definition before so in C plus plus or programming um there, there's these things called object oriented programming or it's a certain concept programming paradigm or whatever you want to call it and basically um, so classes are ways that you could uh, you know manipulate objects so say for example I was talking about entity earlier so you can make a, a class and you can name that class entity okay I'm just using um, pseudocode here um, so pseudocode I don't, I don't know how to say that word man but you know class entity all right so you know what, what, what's the typical um, things that you know your player does obviously you know your player should be able to walk okay so um, in that class for entity we're gonna you know create a function 
and we're going to say, you know, that's one of the things that our player needs to do. Um, our player needs to also be able to jump. So, you know, we can create a function for jump. Um, and, you know, our player also needs to swim. Okay. So, you know, that, that, that's the end of that. And, you know, I'm not using any real, real, you know, actual C++ code here because I'm just trying to explain the concept for beginners. So, um, once you have that class created, now using this class, you could create multiple um, um, derivations of this class. So, say, for example, um, you know, you, you see my character name, Prince of Oblivion, you could do Entity Prince of Oblivion, okay? And so now, well, let me capitalize this. So if you were to do this, you type this code here, um, this is basically making Prince of Oblivion, which is me, an object, and now that you, uh, you created that object with this entity uh, class, now Prince of Oblivion, he's going to be able to walk, he's going to be able to jump, and he's going to be able to swim. Okay? So that's basically kind of how that works. Um, and, you know, but you could have more entities, so you could do like entity Bob, you could do entity, I don't know, Carla or some shit. And, you know, Car Bob and Carla, they're going to be able to, you know, walk, jump, and swim, okay? So that's a little basic about how entities work. Um,